On today's How to Drive video, driving in the rain. Well, it's 40 below and I don't give a fuck. Got a heater in my truck and I'm off to the rodeo. Now, I presume that anybody that's actually driven has driven in the rain. Now, you know that there's a lack of visibility, you know, a little bit loss of traction, you know, all the fun stuff that usually comes with, you know, driving a car on a regular basis. But uh, one of the few things that most people don't seem to realize is that when you're driving in the, in the rain, particularly on the freeway, you have that jet wash. Now, you have semi-trucks driving down the freeway, and they sit much higher than most people's cars. And uh, when you're driving down the road, the odds are they're not going to see you at all. So uh, usually you'll find a higher rate of cars getting run over on the freeway, particularly cars, not necessarily pickup trucks, because pickup trucks are higher profile and easier to see. But the little tip that I have for you is turn on your fucking headlights. It's not that fucking hard. You know, when you turn your fucking headlights on, hey, look, there's a little, there's a little yellowish, bluish glow next to me. I can't, I'm not going to run you over. Now, I'm not a truck driver, but I do understand that it's hard to see, you know, particularly mid-sized to small cars when uh, they're not lit up properly, especially if they're like silver in color. But that, that's one of the first things I have to say when it comes to driving in the rain. Another one is make sure your windshield wipers work. Uh, another one would be, you know, hopefully you have tread on your tires. You have, you have a front wheel drive car and you start hydroplaning. The last thing you want to do in a front wheel drive car is actually let off the throttle because um, the front tires kind of pulled it along. Uh, you have a pickup truck like a Chevy Silverado and it starts going sideways. I hope you know how to drive. You, you might die. Um, or if you have a little button on the dashboard, press that. Or if you have an all-wheel drive Durango with tires that are almost bald, um, you're, you're probably fine. You know, it kind of works on the same principle as a front-wheel drive car. Or if uh, you're driving a, a Mustang, you're fucked. You know, the usual stuff. The fun stuff. You know, everybody knows that there's a lack of visibility when you're driving in the rain, though. And that's one of the biggest reasons that people are driving really, really, really slow because they can't see. Now, I've driven in the rain extensively. I've learned how to drive in, like, the worst driving conditions known to man, you know, dri riding in the passenger seat of my dad's F-150 and driving out west in, in the he in heavy fog on an ice-covered road. And he's telling me to speed the fuck up when I'm already going 55. You know, I, I learned how to drive in that stuff pretty easily, but... Driving in the rain is something that people should really do. I mean, you just got to pay attention, you know, make sure your windshield wipers work. Hopefully you have tread on your tires. Turn your fucking headlights on. And uh, this is a how to drive video with no example footage or anything. Well, I guess there was one little clip that I put in there, but I'm Spaztastic. You're watching Spaztastic TV. Thank you for watching. There's more to come down the road. I'm sorry I'm getting kind of lazy on uh, uploading videos, but I work a lot of hours. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm here with the video interrupter 9000. He's going to be on video. Hey, look, look, there you are. You're on camera. You want down, don't you? Your breath smells horrible.